Taylor Lloyd here. Welcome to another episode of Alternative Facts. <laughs> Look at this. I have crazy new upgrades to the wall. It's just going to keep getting bigger, and I have a lot of things that still aren't put up there. So, get ready for that, guys. But today we are going to take a look at Jeff McBride interviewing Tom Frank after the lecture here in Las Vegas. I'm going to put that in right here. Volume up. It is pretty quiet clip. And how many shows did you do a day? Well, I like to work from uh, 6 to 10. That was sort of my shift. 6 in the evening when the sun starts when it's cooled down a little bit. Uh, and it's also when the park is letting out. Uh huh. So what's the difference between working the streets, the, you know, the real city streets, what's the difference between the mindset of people in a park versus the street? It's really the, the, the difference between private property and public property. Mm -hmm. Public property, where you can, where almost anybody can street perform, but there are also some downsides to that. Mm -hmm. Homelessness. Got a lot of homelessness. Because you have to deal with the street people, right. right? And then you also have to deal with all of the other lousy buskers. Uh, I mean, you, is your personal stuff. Well, right? also, people that aren't that good. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, so the nice thing about private property is typically like at the Universal City Walk, it's a regulated street performing program where mm -hmm. they audition. Oh, okay. They audition you, uh -huh. and then they have designated spots and uh -huh. designated times, and we would just put our So own it's very professional. Together. Very, very yeah, professional. And also a very corporate environment in terms of the, the type of material I would do. I would never be blue mm -hmm. out at the City Walk, whereas if I'm working Venice Beach or I'm working Hollywood and Highland, I might have a little bit more uh, a liberal attitude about what I say. Right. Now, do you still go out on the pitches like at, uh, at, at Venice Beach? Are you still out there? Or? You know, I've tried it, and I do believe that it's funny. I don't know if you know this or not, but I got bumped from the city walk a year ago in March. Wow. And so, and then I tried going to, the, to Venice Beach, and I tried going to uh, the Hollywood Island, and mm -hmm. I was eating it. I was yeah, I never knew how good I had it at the city walk. Right. So I figure I got to shuck and jog a little bit. What am I going to do to make money? And you were out on this lecture tour. Well, that's what the, it was a result of getting canned from uh -huh. from the city walk. But you were there for how many years? A decade. A decade. And so where are the good pitches for you now? Where do you where do you? I think that you may be looking at a retired street performer. Oh wow! So you're doing more lecturing and, and uh, well, and you perform a lot at the Magic yeah. Castle. You're yeah. one of the favorites at the Magic Castle. In the Magic Castle, your stuff is translated. You do the close-up room and. But I think one of your best places that I see you go over is the W.C. Fields Bar. Why is that? You know, I think Jack likes putting me there because it's a hard, it's the hardest room in the castle to work. Yes, it is. And people don't realize, and one of the things that makes it hard is, imagine this. Imagine you're trying to build the moment. You're getting right to that point where you're creating this dramatic moment, and then two feet away from your head, you get this. <laughs> Oh, oh, the, the, the shaking. The bartender is making a, a cocktail two feet away from you. So I think that the reason they like me down there is mm -hmm. they figure that, well, he's used to dealing with car horns and buses and, you mm -hmm. know, that distraction. And I think it does. It, does. it doesn't phase me the way that it would maybe phase somebody who, who's not used to that mm -hmm. sort of distraction. But you studied a, uh, you know, a lot of magicians' uh, work. Could you tell us the, the viewers about some of your mentors? Cellini was one of them. Cellini was one. I had a, there was a, God, it's funny, going back as early as maybe, I can remember my second grade magic teacher. Wow. Named J.C. Cotiller at the American School of Paris in 1976. Wow. And what's funny is, is on this tour, and every place I've been meeting people that I haven't seen, my magic buddy was a guy named Jeff Pepin. I hadn't seen him in 41 years, mm -hmm. and I saw him down in Florida, mm -hmm. or no, in Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, but uh, anyways, so there was uh, the, you know that guy, and then uh, the, the Paul Rowling. He was an employee at Haynes. He was an like, Haynes House was, of Cards when I was 10 in years Ohio. old. And then after that, Larry Pringle and Paul Swinford. Those guys were through the formative years, teenage mm -hmm. years. And then Cellini was huge, mm -hmm. you know, and, uh, as a 19-year-old. And then, uh, and that was pretty much the, the, you know, real mentors, real guys that were having an impact on my life. And you have an incredible range because you do the real skill coin stuff. And hopefully, we can run a clip of that if we can find it. The uh, Tom Frank coin manipulation. Evidence of a misspent youth. The, the po 
poetic Jack Miller ring routine. You do awesome cups. You do great card work. But you also do this comedy bit with the bananas. Could you just do this a couple of times? Yes, I'll say, we have no bananas. bananas. We have no bananas today. One banana, two bananas, three bananas, four, five bananas, six bananas, seven bananas more. Hey! Isn't that a great, great repeat production? I hope you guys did enjoy that. Big round of applause to Tom Frank. And thank you, Jeff and Tom, for letting me use that little footage. So... I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed his coin manipulations. Truly incredible, guys. For now, have a wonderful night. Like the video, subscribe, share it with your friends. I am Taylor Lloyd, and thank you for watching another episode of Alternative Facts.